I'm Vincent Corsello from Corsello Butcheria. Corsello Butcheria is a local whole animal butcher shop in East Hampton, Massachusetts. So we source locally and we produce in-house. We buy the whole animal. We have what I call the five pillars, our philosophy, our vision. Quality, local, transparency, simplicity, and connection. My meat comes from Ashfield. Porter Family Farm has beef and pork. He actually has also some lamb too that he raises. We get also from Poplar Hill Farm in Waitley. We get most of our birds from Sunderland from Reed Farm. They actually are pasture raised birds, which is a very unique kind of thing. There's a smaller supply chain. Fewer hands have come through it, and so fewer people have taken their cut. Quality is different. If you're raising animals in the pasture, you're collecting them, you know, two or three at a time, processing them and then cutting them here. The meat is more nutrient dense, it's tastier, it's healthier. Farmers really do care about their animals. Grass-fed is the natural way of things, particularly for cows. They eat grass in the field that grows and they convert that into muscle. And then when they poo, that organic material replenishes the soil. And grass-fed is absolutely the standard for what we want. And grass-fed is what creates a sustainability behind the beef. Under the industrial model, absolutely 100% beef is unsustainable and releases a lot of carbon. Under the local small family farm model, it's actually sinking carbon, taking carbon out of the atmosphere and turning that into soil. The grass grows, it takes carbon out of the air, and then the cow eats it, and then he locks up that carbon and he poos it on there and fertilizes the grass or the soil, and the soil builds in the cycle. So it becomes a carbon sink. Under the current model, they're growing corn, and then they're growing the cows somewhere else. So you have these animals all kind of cooped up in the same area. So there's a big concentration. Their poo is just kind of building up in the area. They're fertilizing the fields. They're cutting the corn using petroleum mechanisms, transporting it to the cows. The cows are pooing, and that's not being necessarily returned. You can see it's not just cows farting. It's really about the petroleum-based economy. Industrial side, definitely releasing carbon into the atmosphere, grass-fed, pasture-raised, small family farms, those are actually pulling that carbon away and locking it back up into the soil. When we talk about raising animals and buying local animals, you know, there's an expense there. And when you pay at the typical outlets or the grocery store, every bit of profit has been squeezed out of that. We take a whole animal and we break it down and you have these beautiful steaks, but that takes work and that takes labor. And that's all along the way, right? So the farmer needs to feed these animals. The place where they're being processed is a family owned operation. And then it comes to us and we're a family owned operation. Just to put it in perspective, 90% of beef is controlled by four companies. Just imagine the sheer numbers of that and the sheer economies of scale, which the promise of these economies of scale was, was a lower food cost, right? And we've gotten that. You go over to the local grocery store and grab a ribeye, and it might even be half of what mine costs. But there's a cost somewhere there. And that cost is in the treatment of the animal, unsustainable process, and then there's the human labor cost even. We got thousands of animals a day being slaughtered. Somebody's slaughtering them and somebody's cutting those up. They call them meat packing plants. And they don't just pack meat, they pack people together. These people are not making a lot of money. They're making a minimum wage that's not a livable wage. They're under increasing pressure to speed up their work. When you buy a piece of meat from here, none of that misery is included. You pay more for it, but there is a cost somewhere. Somebody's paying for that. And so what you're paying for is for Josh Porter and his family to live paying for my family to live, but you're also paying to keep the environment clean. And you're also paying to keep that carbon footprint low. And you're also paying to ensure that people are not being exploited. And you're also paying, which is the more obvious one, that the animals aren't being exploited. When you come in here, you don't have to have your mind made up. 
because we can help you. We not only will cut it to exactly whatever you want, whatever size, thickness, we are here to actually provide you with knowledge. You're not just buying a piece of meat, right? You're getting a service, you're getting a connection. If you've been in here a few times, we know your name. We know what you're looking for. We know how you cook. We know your level of comfort. You can come in here and get an experience that is authentic, not overwhelming, and quite enjoyable. The meal begins not when you sit down to eat it, but when you first conceive of it. The community is real, it's, it's life. Good old fashioned living, it's clean living. It feeds you, but it feeds your soul too.